Hey, what's up friends? Elliot here, welcoming you back to the channel. The other day I was helping my cousin with her old iPhone for which she'd forgotten the login information. And boy, did we struggle. The dreaded iPhone lock to owner message or what we techies call the iCloud activation lock showed up and we were stuck. It got me thinking, how many of you out there might be dealing with this exact same thing? But guess what, I've got some good news. There's a much better, safer, quicker, and best of all, free alternative that is guaranteed to work. And that's what we're getting into today. Quick Fixes iPhone Activation Lock Removal Guide. We'll be walking through some simple and legal tricks you can use to remove the iCloud activation lock from your Apple devices, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. So let's buckle up and get this show on the road. To be clear, this guide is for those who own their devices and have lost track of their login details. We're not here to help folks mess with stolen gadgets. That's not cool or legal. We're all about following the rules, including YouTube's policies. Now that we've got that straight, let's get to it. When unlocking your iPhone from the locked to owner message, you've got a few trusted allies. Now, I remember when I was stuck with a locked iPhone. I tried a bunch of software, wasted loads of time, and still needed help to unlock it. Then I stumbled upon these tools. They're super easy to use and reliable. And the best part is that they get the job done quickly. For instance, Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app is a game changer. Its AI interface guides you through the process, making it as easy as pie. Then there's Safe Unlocks. And well, the name says it all. It's safe and secure and unlocks your device just like that. Next up is Lock to Owner. I've had a few of our viewers swear by its effectiveness. And last but not least, there's the iUnlock app. This one's great for those who prefer an app-based solution. It's user-friendly and quick, saving you a lot of hassle and time. Remember, these are merely tools, and you're in control. Use them wisely. Now, hang tight, because in the next step, we will walk you through how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. Get ready to be amazed. So here's the thing, folks. You need to be aware that Unlock services primarily operate in first world countries. If you're situated somewhere they don't cover, or you'd prefer not to use them, don't worry, we've got you covered. Every week we offer 250 unlocks to our loyal viewers. Entering for a chance to win one is easy peasy. All you need to do is follow three simple steps. First, smack that like button on this video. Second, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Third, drop a comment below with your phone model. It could be, for example, a Samsung S9, along with your IMEI number and your country. That's it. As soon as you complete these steps, you'll be entered automatically. It's a pretty sweet deal. So go ahead. It's quick, easy, and a chance to get your phone unlocked for free. All right, let's kick things off. Grab your phone or hop on your computer and head over to unlockhere.com. This site uses an AI assistant named Nifty to help unlock any mobile restrictions you're facing. Once there, let Nifty know you need an iCloud to unlock by clicking on Activation Lock. You'll be given an option to select your device. If you have an iPhone, go ahead and like that. But you can also choose if you have an iPad or an Apple Watch. Next, you'll need to enter your device's IMEI or serial number. What is the difference? Well, all iPhones have IMEIs. If you're unlocking an iPhone, choose IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches have IMEIs if they have SIM card slots or cellular capacity. If they don't, they'll have a serial number. To find this, press the sleep button on your locked device, then press it again and tap on the I on the bottom right. This will show your device info. Once you've got your device info, remember to input this in the next step. You must fill in some basic info to attach your order to your account. You must use accurate information so you can receive your order confirmation. Next, agree to the terms and confirm that you're not planning on unlocking a stolen device. Solve a quick captcha to prove you're not a robot and then hit start process. But we're not done yet. You'll get an email with your confirmation code. Sometimes it lands in your spam or junk folder, so check there too. Take this code, go back to the Unlock Here website Input the code and confirm once more that you're not a robot. As soon as you've done that, your unlock process begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone, 
Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. So that's it. Your device is now on its way to being unlocked. But stick with us. Another method is coming up for those who want a different approach. All right, guys, let's explore some more alternative ways to tackle that iCloud activation lock. Remember, our goal is to get you back into your device legally and safely. So we're focusing on methods that respect Apple's terms of service. Option one is to contact the previous owner. If you've purchased a secondhand device and it's locked, contacting the previous owner is your best bet. They can remove the lock by signing into their iCloud account and erasing the device. If you're thinking, uh, but Elliot, I can't do that. Don't worry, we've got more solutions coming up. Second, Apple support is your friend. Contact them with the proof of purchase and they will help you. Remember, you'll need to verify that you're the current owner. So having that proof handy is crucial. It could be a receipt from a store or an invoice from when you bought it online. Finally, use Apple's forgot service if you need to remember your Apple ID or password. Follow the steps on their website to reset your account and remove the activation lock. Remember, all these methods are legal and respect Apple's policies so that you can breathe easily. If you're dealing with a lock and need help with what to do, research and find the method that best suits your situation. The more we share, the more we know and the easier it becomes to tackle problems like the dreaded activation lock. We're all about finding the best straightforward solutions to simplify your tech life. In our next video, we'll explore these methods a bit more. Stay tuned.